This is MathGuide.com. My name is Mark Karadimos. Today we're going to talk about chord-chord arcs and angles relationships. So we're going to take a look at two problems and discuss how these relationships work. For this first problem, I'd like to take a look at a few things before we start talking about specifics on this problem is that we do have two chords. So we got one chord is here, another chord is here. And the definition of a chord is a segment that has its endpoints. We've got an endpoint here and another endpoint over here. So of course those two endpoints are on the circle. And we have another chord because its endpoints are here also being on the circle. All right, it turns out that when these chords are present on a circle, and as long as the chords are intersecting, and they do intersect right here, it turns out that there is an angle made. You can see that there are four angles, obviously. Uh, these two, of course, being equal, and these two opposite, or otherwise called vertical angles, are equal. But this angle faces this arc. Remember, the arc is just the measure along this uh, part of the circle. And also, uh, in the opposite direction, the angle formed by x has another arc. And these two arcs are kind of important. Now, for the relationship that exists for the chord-chord situation that we have right here, we're going to take these two arcs. So I'm going to take arc 1 and arc 2. We're going to add them together, and we're going to divide by 2. So that is the relationship that we're going to use. Easy enough, so let's use it. So I'm going to take the uh, two arcs, so I'm going to take 110 plus 30, add them and divide by 2. So it looks like I'm getting 140 divided by 2 is 70 degrees. So it looks like this angle, x, is a 70 degree angle. And yes, that's all there is to it. Okay, let's take a look at a, a second example that gets a little bit harder. For the second example, uh, I'm trying to make this one a bit harder because uh, this is how they sometimes show up and it can appear to be complicated. So remember that we did have a relationship and the relationship was arc plus arc divided by 2 is equal to the angle. Okay, and that's the angle that's inside. Like this is our angle here inside the diagram. Okay, well, in order for us to do this problem, we do have two arcs. One of them is 8 degrees, the other one's x minus 4. So I'm going to take the x minus 4, I'm going to add it to 8 divided by 2, and it's equal to the angle. Well, here we already know the angle. So what makes this one a bit strange is that we have our variable, and the variable's not the angle, where many times that's where a variable is, but here it actually turns out to be in the left portion, or this more complicated fractional part of our problem. Well, in order to solve it, I'm going to put the 10 over 1, and I'm going to cross multiply, just like I, I would with any proportion, or in other words, two fractions that are equal. So I'm going to cross multiply. I'm going to get 2 times 10 is 20, x minus 4 plus 8 times 1 is still the same. x minus 4 plus 8. All right, well, you know, I don't need all these parentheses. I mean, let's face it. I'm dealing with a bunch of angles here. So I'm really taking x minus 4, and I'm adding 8, and it's got to be equal to this 20, right? It's got to be equal to 20. So I don't need all this formality of angle symbols. I'm really just, you know, like I'm trying to solve this algebra problem. So I'm going to combine like terms. So that's going to be 4. Now I'm going to subtract 4 from both sides. And I'm going to get x is equal to 16. Okay, and it does work. Uh, imagine putting in 16. 16 minus 4 is equal to 12, so we're really talking about a 12 degree arc here. So if we look at this formula again, we would take 12 plus 8 divided by 2 is got to be equal to 10. 
And yes, we do get 20 divided by 2, which is equal to 10. So it kind of checks out. Okay, therefore showing that x has got to be a 16 degree angle. Or in other words, it's 16 because 16 minus 4 turns out to be this 12 degree arc. So it's a 16 degrees, not an angle, sorry. It's just 16 degrees. All right, uh, go back to mathguide.com. Check out our other instructional videos, interactive quizzes, and text-based lessons. Take care.